in terms of it being actually aliens, I wouldn't go so far as to say that because I think we're actually aliens. Do you remember anything about a small nuclear power plant? Tic Tacs actually go all the way back to Trinity. What if these are the actual inhabitants of Earth from the very beginning? And we're not. We're the aliens. What I did experience is I did experience there's some kind of a hidden base in Mount Hayes. And there's probably three different directions of getting to it. And there's probably something going on there that we need to know about. I'm talking about the pregnant we, you know, the media we. The, wouldn't it be interesting to know what's going on there, that kind of we. Um, in terms of it being actually aliens, I wouldn't go so far as to say that because I think we're actually aliens, but that gave my reasons for that. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I don't know. I'd have to re review the, the result to be able to tell you whether or not even by my own remote viewing. You know, one of the problems with remote viewing is you don't know when, when you don't know. I don't know if that says much, but... Well... There's what? some things you come up with that you interpret badly, that you're wrong about in remote viewing. Well, it doesn't sound like you're the only one that remote viewed uh, Mount Hayes. No, there's some others, too. And it may be that I'm just confirming their viewing. I, I don't know. It depends on how it was presented to me at the time. Um, Do you remember anything about a small nuclear power plant? Yeah, I do, in fact. That's like a 55-gallon drum buried in the ground. Maybe 160 feet down. They just dig a tube, drop it in the bottom of the tube with two feeder cables coming out, and it produces power for 25,000 years or something. goes inert, and it's buried in the ground 160 feet. Uh, in fact, I, I do know I remote viewed one of those once. More than once, actually. So that may be one of the ones where I did. And I said, we need, we need these things for housing developments in the middle of nowhere. That, that would be a great power system for them. Wouldn't need any other infrastructure. It sounded like you had also said something along the lines of a, on top of a dome, there was an emitter sending large amounts of energy into space. I can't, can't answer that. I don't remember. Do you remember anything about Mount Zeal? No, or nothing at all about that. Mount Perdido. Perdido, that's in Spain? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I remember saying that uh, Mount Perdido has a lot hidden in it because it's a mount where there's lots of... Um, you know what a whiteout on a mountain is? I do. When you're on top of a mountain and the clouds come in, and if you take one more step, you don't know if it's going to be a short one <laughs> or a long. <laughs> Mount Perdido is one of those mountains. If you're ever on that mountain, it's like best to be careful because you can get whited out up there in a heartbeat. So there are some things that I think that are hidden about that mountain. Uh, I might have talked about that. I, you know, I honestly, I can't remember this stuff now. It depends on who did the analysis and who put this together. Okay. And 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 I'm I'm trying to be fair here because I I honestly don't remember what I said about some of these places and. Uh, I find it dangerous to consolidate stuff mm -hmm. from multiple viewers because some of the viewers might not have 
been as qualified. I, I don't know. I, I just don't know. I, Do you remember anything about, I'm going to butcher this name, Mount Nyangani? Uh, it's in Africa, right? I believe so. Yeah. Uh, uh, only that it's part of the Zulu Nation. It, there's a tribe there that guards it. Guards that mountain. Doesn't like people going up or down the mountain. Uh, see, one of the problems here since we've tweaked the radars on some of the Navy planes. Mm -hmm. They've been capturing the Tic Tacs. Tic Tacs actually go all the way back to Trinity when they set the bomb off at Trinity, at Trin Trinity in the desert. That's when the first Tic Tac showed up. And that was a crash. Uh, I think it was 12 miles away from Trinity. But it was right after the bomb went off at Trinity, the test test bomb. What they didn't tell people when they detonated that bomb, they didn't tell anybody that it was a nuclear weapon that went off. They told everybody in the area that it was a, a detonation of a huge ammo dump that the Army had been dumping stuff in for years. And then all the dust and crap in the air was from that ammo dump spontaneously going off. The problem is it spread radioactivity out for like 1,200 miles in one direction. It, co it deposited significant radioactive material on top of something like 1,200 ranches where they raised cows and uh, sheep and goats and chickens and pigs and all that stuff. People died prematurely in all those ranches from radiation poisoning. People who ate the animals died of prematurely of radiation poisoning. They never told anybody the truth. And the problem with that is now we have uh, things that are believed about that entire event that may or may not be true. Tic, tic Tacs are kind of the same problem. They, they, uh, I talk, I talk with some, to some degree with some people I know that are very much into the UFO field. And some of them say, yes, this in fact happened that a Tic Tac crashed immediately afterwards. Well, it was a couple weeks later after the bomb was detonated. And um, the radiation might have affected it. And this Tic Tac, by virtue of the way it was described by people who discovered it first, which were kids, long before the Army came in and spirited it away, uh, their descriptions are good descriptions for something that was manufactured, not not flown in from another world or flown in from a even a place somewhere out in our solar system. It, it actually is an object that was manufactured. Its manufacture was extremely advanced, and the kids who stole stuff out of the walls of this after it crashed. It was like uh, hair-like hair stuff came out of the walls. And it tingled when you held it in your hands. And if you took it out at night, it would glow in the dark. And it did so. It glowed in the dark for like 25 years. Because some of these kids that stole parts of this stuff were putting it on their Christmas trees for 25 years because it glowed in the dark. 
So that's not human manufacture. That's manufactured by somebody else. So it stands to reason that if Tic Tacs are being manufactured somewhere, it's probably on this planet because they're not able to travel into the vacuum of space. They're only able to travel high speeds on this planet. It may be that the people who manufacture the Tic Tacs live in certain areas on our planet that are unknown to us because that's what they've done for thousands of years. It's our arrival that changed everything. So what if these are the actual inhabitants of Earth from the very beginning? And we're not. We're the aliens. And we've come in and taken over the world. And now all they have to deal with us over is how to convince us that they are something that we're afraid of. Hey everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.